Hey everyone, I'm Brooke and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to share with you my favorite tips and tricks to help you be faster and more productive the next time you are using your iPad. So feel free to grab your iPad and follow along, but I will be honest, practice makes perfect with these. The more you use them, the more you will get used to them and the more they will become second nature. So if you don't get them right away, that is okay. Feel free to rewatch the video or I will add a mini cheat sheet in the description box down below that I recommend maybe you print off, add to a post-it, something like that, so you can just see them and get more familiar with them and hopefully get used to using them with your iPad. All right, so if you are not already using Spotlight on your iPad, you are seriously missing out. So you would access Spotlight from your home screen. You would just pull down from the center and the Spotlight search will appear at the top. And then you can do things like use it as a calculator. So you could just do two plus two and you don't actually have to open a calculator app or go to Safari. You can do it right from Spotlight. Same thing if you wanted to convert currency. I could do 29 Canadian dollars and it'll show me the US conversion or even with measurements. So I could do one inch and it'll show me how many centimeters that would be. So it's just awesome because you don't need a separate app, you don't need to open Safari, you can do all of this super quickly using Spotlight. And of course, one of the traditional ways of using Spotlight is just to open an app. So if I wanted to open notes, I can quickly do that through Spotlight as well. Now next up is probably my favorite two tips with the Apple Pencil. So if ever you wanted to take a screenshot, you could use your pencil, from the bottom left hand corner and swipe up and it'll take a screenshot of whatever was on your iPad screen, which is pretty handy. Then from the lock screen with your Apple Pencil, you can really easily open a new note. So just taking the pencil and tapping it on the screen will open a blank note. This is super convenient if you need to just quickly jot something down, you can just do that and write down whatever you need to write down. And the best part is you can see at the top, there's still a lock screen. So this means your iPad is still locked. You have not typed in your password or used face ID, which means this is not a way for someone to easily hack and get into your iPad. The notes lock. Anytime I try to do anything from this note screen, it's gonna tell me it's locked. So that's just, you can rest assured, it's an easy way to start a new note, but it is not an easy way for someone else to get into your iPad. So something you may not know is your iPad can understand a whole bunch of different swipe gestures and shortcuts. So one that I use quite a bit is for undo, redo. And so what I've done is I've just added this photo to this note. You may recognize the photo. It's one of my past thumbnails. But let's say as I'm working in the note, I delete it and realize, you know what, I want to undo that. Well, with three fingers swiping to the left, we'll bring back the photo. And then let's say I realize I actually don't need it. Three fingers to the right, we'll redo it. So you can see at the top, it confirms the action you're doing. So undo, redo. Super handy and useful and definitely one I recommend you start practicing and getting used to. Another one I'll use fairly frequently is three finger tap to bring up a shortcut menu at the top. So you'll see any of the actions that are that you've used recently essentially. So undo and paste if you have anything copied on your clipboard will appear as quick actions at the top. Next is a few tips for the keyboard. So if you don't already know any of the letters that have a number or a symbol above, instead of going over to the number keyboard, you can just swipe down on the letter. So for example, the letter T has a number five above it. If I wanted five, I would just swipe down to get five. Same thing, G, if I wanted the asterisk, I would swipe down to get the asterisk. If I just want the G, I would just tap the G or tap the T, but pulling down on the letter will activate whatever is above the letter. Now, if ever you need to type something, but you only have one hand available, you can, of course, just click through on the regular size keyboard, but to make things a little bit faster and easier, you can pinch the keyboard to get a floating smaller keyboard. You can use this little bar at the bottom to move it around, whatever is gonna be more comfortable for you. 
And then again, you can just type, but to make things even faster, you can swipe to type. So you can just swipe whatever word you are gonna say. And the keyboard is pretty smart. It'll understand and it just makes it a little bit faster to type with one hand. And then to get the keyboard back, you would just pinch out to activate the full size keyboard again. Now, if ever you multitask with your iPad, like doing research and taking notes, split view is what you should be using. So if you hit the three dots at the top of your screen and hit split view, you can choose the other app. So in this case, let's make it Safari. And so let's say I'm taking notes and I wanna translate at the same time. Easily interact with translate on the right hand side then go over and paste the translation on in my notes. You can just go back and forth between multiple windows. And if you were to press on the three dots again and split view, you can choose which screen you want on the left or right. You can also use slide over. So that would just make one app a little bit bigger and the other not quite half, you know, maybe like a third of the screen. If you press it again, you can even add windows at the bottom. If maybe let's say you're gonna be using Google Translate and ChatGPT, for example, you can go back and forth between two different windows and have your notes in a bigger screen. So it just really allows you to multitask a little bit better instead of having to close and go find the app and open it, you can just see more at a glance. Now this next one is one I use quite frequently and probably one of my favorite ones. So whenever I have photos that are from a series or you know that are pretty similar to one another that I wanna edit, I'll go in and edit one photo, you know, maybe I'll up the exposure a little bit, maybe I'll bring the brilliance up to, I can, you know, reduce some of the shadows, increase the saturation. I'll customize one of the photos in quite a bit of detail. I'll go through each one. Now, yes, it shows you, okay, for this photo, I've changed the saturation to 23. I could go in to the next photo and, you know, go down to the saturation and manually get that back to 23 also. But what's much, much faster for photos that are similar. So this photo, I've edited it, I love it. What I'm gonna do is hit the three dots, copy edits, go to the next photo, hit the three dots and paste edits. So now it'll take the exact edits I've taken from the first photo, post it to this photo. If there's five more photos similar, I can do the same thing for all of them and that just makes sure the edits are very precise and uniform across all of them. So whenever you are editing photos, I highly recommend you start using this because it'll just save you so much time instead of editing each individual photo and hoping they look the same. So copy and pasting photo edits is definitely one of my favorite tips. All right, so those are my favorite iPad tips and tricks that I use the most frequently to just be faster and more productive on my iPad. Let me know in the comments which did you not know, which are maybe your favorite that you already use all the time. And if you did get value out of today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Reminder that I did add a mini cheat sheet in the description box down below. So as you're practicing and learning, recommend you reference that until you get in the habit of using them. And if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more videos. So that's it, have a great day, bye.